So we have just got dropped off in Fort Kochi and we are on Princess Street and this is the oldest street in the city. And uh, so far it looks a little closed. <laughs> Not again! Oh, if you watched your other uh, Kochi videos, you'll know. Yeah, we're you'll out know. we're out filming on a Sunday, guys, right. and I guess Sunday is not the... Uh, yeah, it ain't the day. Yes. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hello. But that's okay. Hello. Hello. Namaste. <laughs> we'll still be able to see some of what we want to see. Yeah, there's stuff. There's no photography for this shop. Shucks. That's been quite a few places and also on bridges. Like yeah. you're not a lot Almost of the bridges. All India bridges have signs yeah. saying don't you, you dare take photography. I wonder why. I wonder if it's because like so many people take pictures and it's dangerous or might be terrorizers. Try not to cut off your heads. <laughs> <laughs> might, might be do something for public safety and so things don't get planted. I don't know. Yeah. Just just speculation. Yeah. I don't but know why. There's um lots of homestays around here when I was doing my research. We're not staying in this area, we're staying kind of near MG Road. Um, and yeah, there are like tons of cheap homestays, really cute here, and also like the decor really looks, <laughs> it really looks charming, kind cute, of. Cute and quaint. Cute and quaint. And uh, Fort Kochi used to be a um, little fishing village, but then transformed into a big trading hub for spices and such like that, so. Yeah, yeah. Looks pretty cool though, like yeah. it's just really, really nice. Yeah. I, I love like the old style. <laughs> I know if you're, if you're new here, love the decor if you're not here new here you know that this is the kind of architecture i love when it's kind of like rustic and painted and there's cute little designs yeah 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 and this place looks beautiful <laughs> wow it's a heritage hotel yes the more you know <laughs> and i think this area is fairly small so getting around on foot is pretty easy once you're over here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, we'll try to make our way to the little beach and stuff and see yeah. what that's all about. I've heard it's not, not like if you're really wanting to beach it, I don't think that this is the beach to do it at. Mm. But we'll see what we're in for. Yeah, Princess Street. So I guess that was it. Uh, that was it, guys. Is this the way to the beach? Where's the beach? Yeah. Oh my goodness, these trees though. Wow. Uh, okay. That's magnificent. That is so pretty. Wow. And a uh, really funny story is we got a Uber over here. It was actually cheaper to take an air conditioned car than a rickshaw. I don't know what world I'm living in right now, but uh, yeah, it was about 360 rupee. So. Not about it. The AC did me good. It was a hot day. Yeah. Look at this little truck that's converted into an ice cream stand. Wow. It's like a little truck. <laughs> you guys want some exercise? Yeah. Little open gym here. <laughs> it's funny because it looks like really Hi guys. New, really new. Say <laughs> hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's really funny because it looks like pretty new equipment, but the ground's all dug up. So I wonder if it's like very in the works of renovation there. Yeah. Kind of seems to be all over Kochi. So maybe they're just kind of, I mean, that's a lot of India though. They're always building, they're always constructing. Yeah. This place is absolutely beautiful. Like, look at this. And you can start to see, um, I see some drinks over there. Milkshakes, lassi, juices. Wow. Look at the dog. So this is a nice place right beside the sea. Very cute here. Very cute. <laughs> I've tried a few um, ice creams from these random little ice cream places in India, and so far, I recommend so far. Oh, we're hitting, we're hitting Roblox. some palm trees. Yeah, so far I don't, I don't know that I quite like them that much. Oh my gosh! You can start smelling the fish. Here it is. I smell the fishing village. <laughs> so, they have these guys, well, fishers that put nets in the water like old school, old school way, and apparently you can see them sometimes, so I kind of hope that we can. Yeah, that'd be cool, yeah. yeah. so this is a little shopping boardwalk right along the Arabian Sea. Are those the, are those the nets? Yeah. Is it? I think so. Yeah, see, I got told that they, they can show you how to put a net in the water. I wonder if you should try. <laughs> Put a net in the water? You can apparently show you how to put like a net. 
Wow, so they're calling us over anyways. Yeah, and um, I think that they charge a small fee. I'm not sure how much, but let's go take a peek. Yeah, we'll go check it out. There's some other foreigners over here. Hi, how's it going? Hi, how are you, my friend? Very good, how are you? Fine, sir. Yeah. Hi, 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 how are you? Fine. Is this okay? Yeah? Yeah, what's going and, on? And uh, this is the fishing nets, yeah? Chinese fishing net. Okay. Oh. Well, look at all of it. Don't fall through. Yeah. Thank you. Did you guys put one in the water? Did you get to use the nets? No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, just looking? <laughs> just, just looking. Okay, and then, uh, then nice. Get some money, of course. Yes, yes, okay. it's always a fee. Yeah. <laughs> Any way to make money. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. Okay. You're the friend say. Sure. Oh, gosh. My friend James, explain. Okay, thank you so much. Welcome. You from man? Um, Canada. Canada. Yeah. Wow. And you're um from Cochin. Cochin. Okay, nice. You call it Cochi or Cochin? Cochin. Cochin. Is that the Cochin? Cochin. Is that previous or now it's called Cochin? It's Cochin. Cochin. Yeah. That's a previous name, and now people. Both Cochin. Yeah, and some people call it Cochi. Cochi, Alwa. Uh huh. Koblong. Different, 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 different. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, watch your step. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous, you guys. Look at, jeez. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So we got James here. What do you name, sir? I'm Chase. I'm James. Nice to meet you, James. What do you name, sir? I'm Shelby. <laughs> Are you going from? Uh, Canada. Yeah. Is it on PC? Can you take the photographs? No, thank you. No, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. We just wanna we just wanted to see the nets. Yeah. Yeah. I, can, I will explain for you. Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Please come, sir. Yeah, sure. See you there. Is it okay we film? You okay? <laughs> sure. Okay. This one, actually this coat is Chinese fishing net. But why telling the Chinese fishing net? This introducing from China. That man name is Mr. Kublai Khan. He's Mongolian. That is the old name is telling the Chinese fishing net. So, this is not only China. This designing technology construction, the counterbalance and development in complete Portuguese technology is also. It is 40 centuries, 700 years old. These are 700 years old. Technology. Technology, technology okay. Yeah. But this would guarantee only six years, seven years, then after complete the changing. Okay. Yeah. I am not the changing. Changing expense complete my owner. Yeah. Three or five people labor. The water catching, 30% give the owner, 70% divide the poor fishermen. Because this is not the season. Season is summer is better. I mean, December, January, February now starting the better fishing time. This time see, this pollution is too much problem. Don't stay in the fish. Fish completely didn't go to deep sea. Uh, so the fish don't come near they, here? They no. left to deep sea. Oh, and that's why you can't do fishing here. Oh. After they are helping for the tourists. We are five people, five families. Okay, but how do the nets work? Because that's what we're curious about hearing. We're here, we want to hear about the technology of how the nets and the fishing works. This net is releasing the water. That side says and go up. And complete put it at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You're connecting the five ropes here. After the 10 minutes, five people hard pull the rope. This one, same position come to here. After five minutes, yes. they keep it, and then lots of fish should be in there, but there are no fish right now. <laughs> They're still coming with the water. Very less fish. This is not the season. Do you still, so um, when it is the season, when it's hotter, do you still use them? You see. You use them to yes. this day. Okay, cool. So morning time is now starting the season. Okay, you still, um, you can still fish like in the morning, yeah. in this time, but not as much fish. Sometimes water is too much fast current. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't it is put, quite fast current. Don't put it in the water. Okay. This time put it in the water. This 
good company is the Brokan, two yeah. days yeah. and a And when is the best time? You said the best month to do fishing. Best month is you know, starting the December, January, February. January, February, okay, perfect. And the local fish, um, is it in the restaurants all around? You can eat the local no, no, fish? No, the local fish market there. Oh, fish market, so you go buy the fish and then, yes. okay. I've heard that a lot of restaurants can cook it for you too, is that true? No. <laughs> Somebody said, that. see, you can't trust Google, you guys. I Someone's am only like, fishing. Yeah. Not the cooking here. No. You won't cook me fish? <laughs> well, yeah, very cool. Very they're, they're, the nets are huge. Yeah, they're very big. Wow. And they would get destroyed if they put them in the fast current. It's they too, would. It's too much maintenance. They oh, break okay. too much. Yeah. So. Okay, wow. Well, thank you cool. very much. Well, thank Steve. you for explaining that. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. Well, please help me. We are five people, five families. Yes. Do I give Do I give you a little tip or do I give them a tip? You. There is given equal sharing the five people. Okay, I'll give you something, James. Thank you very much. Sir, I'm five people. So you guys, uh, I don't recommend <laughs> going to do or see the fishing nets. Not worth it. He started basically saying he wanted a tip, and then I was like, "Hey, I want to know how the fishing nets work." So then he briefly told me in like one sentence, didn't really go much into it and then ended with he wanted money. So <laughs> but, then, but then he wouldn't then accept our I gave money. Him almost more than I would give a rickshaw to drive me around. So we And we, I was being very generous yeah. and he did not want a yeah. that peasly amount of money. We gave him a hundred and we were there for maybe, I don't know, not even three minutes. So wouldn't recommend you guys, but that is okay. That's what we're here for, to give you our honest review. Well, not sugarcoat anything. Yeah. Because that was not a fun experience. Well, especially when you have like five guys waiting at the end to just kind of, they could stop you and make it really, uh, you know. Yeah. So this is like a little viewpoint along the sea. It is, the current is moving so fast. Yeah, all the vegetation. Wow. It's just ripping. Oh, well, that's beautiful. A beach. This would be a good. Oh, this is probably. The, I think this is the Kochi Beach, the Fort Kochi Beach, you guys. This is it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, I guess this is why they say you might not want to come swimming here. <laughs> oh, why? Why not? <laughs> I, let's get in that water, guys. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful on the eyes though, and people have some kites flying around there. One looks really nice, it almost looks like a phoenix bird. What can you go for, sweetie? What can you go for? A piece of corn? <laughs> well, sure. A random stall. This is the most random stall we've ever done. I know. Dun 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 dun. It looks really clean. Yeah. I don't even know if he has dahi for you. Let's try it. It's right there. Well, I mean, they might they don't have all of them. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you have dahi curry? Oh. oh, dahi curry. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, you were right, Chubbs. Look at you go. I think <laughs> Hello. Eat its yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. But we got like market on both sides here. Very cool. Just go to every stand. Do you have dahi for <laughs> you? <laughs> you can try. I don't see it on his sign though. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, it says it there, but. I don't know. I don't think it's yeah. going to happen. I... You might just have to get like the other one. <laughs> but the dahi for It is very good. Oh, oh that's yeah. cool. <laughs> oh, very cool. Woo. Thing. Very cool. <laughs> what are these things wow. over here, Shelb? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's good. Thank you. I do love those drums, how they make that freaking sound when they rub that little. I don't know if they have a metal thing or it's just their finger. <laughs> they have them everywhere. Okay, guys. Well, we're in Fort Kochi, so I'm going to share a little tidbit for you guys. Um, in the 1500s, the Portuguese arrived and ruled for 180 years. They constructed Fort Emmanuel and St. Francis Church. The Dutch then took over and reigned for 112 years, um, from 1982 until 1795. And the British were the last to leave in 1947. Mm. So I'm sure we'll probably see as we walk around lots of different influences because 
yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a good little mixture. I love the rocks all on here. Like, yeah. Oh, watching the sunset from there. Woo! <laughs> Beautiful. Cool water. Cool water. Oh. Love that. That almost sounds refreshing. No, thank you. It does sound refreshing, maybe later though. They sprinkle spices on fruit. Yeah. I can't get down with that. <laughs> I could never get down with that. Some, some of the ones in Thailand were more of a sugar salt mixture of spice, yeah. but uh, here it's more just spice, right? Not as much sweet. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Restaurant yeah. by the beach. There you go, your spice mixture. Yeah. Sure you could get it without it. Oh, oh, oh. Watch out, dog. Be nice down there. Be nice. Jeez. Why do the dogs have to show dominance? So there is unlimited amounts of ice cream here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> He's coaxed me in. Hi, how are you? <laughs> What's an Amer what's a, a mega bar or American bar? What is that? <laughs> yeah, what's um chocolate. just chocolate? How much is that one? 40 40. 40 40. Okay. Oh it's right on here. Yeah. Or coffee and you have coffee? Coffee. Coffee? No 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 coffee. You don't have cold coffee? Coffee like coffee. Oh ah. no. Coffee oh. tasty spice. Spanish Okay. Coffee is so good though. I know. Oh, I really love coffee. Okay, maybe I'll think about it. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh man, now he, do he doesn't have coffee. I, I wonder yeah. if some of you have coffee. There's so many ice cream places. Yeah. Oh boy, look at this. A stack of corn, eh? I wonder if it's boiled or how he cooked it. Hello. How much is corn? 40 rupees. 40. Can I get one, please? 40 rupees for a corn. Why not, right? 50 cents. All right. Oh, yeah. It's ready to go. Yeah, yes, please. You got that other 20? Oh, thank you so much, Danny. Wow, look at that, sweetie. And look, he left a little bit unspicy for you. Yeah. It doesn't look that spicy. Oh, God. Uh oh. It doesn't look that spicy? It's so salty. It's hard to bite into. Oh, my God. It's too hot. Is it? Well, maybe I'll try once. We'll, we'll see. I Shelby, couldn't bite Shelby, it. it was Shelby's so already cool. giving me a warning. It's hot. Mm. <laughs> Interesting flavor with that spice mix, I tell you. You know, since it's boiled corn, kind of just lathered with spice, you kind of don't get that buttery corn yeah. feel that you're going for. Um, let me go to more of an end without the spice and see how the corn is without that. At least the corn's juicy. Like, I'll, I'll give it that. Like, it is a 6 out of 10 for this one. Here, do you want to try a little bit now that it's... Still hot? <laughs> Maybe I'll rotate it for you so you don't get the seasoning. It's not even really that sweet. <laughs> no. What do you mean? Not bad. No. Could be worse. Yeah. Could be better. I would like it without the seasoning, I think. Can you rotate it or is it all the way around? It's, um, like if there you go, a little yeah. bit a little bit better. It's too hot. <laughs> I gotta chill for it, but I can't eat it right now. Uh let's get that leg there. Alright, let's roll guys. Me and my cob of corn. And we'll go exploring. Mm. You know? Do you have a coffee? Yeah, yeah. Coffee? Water, water. Over. Water? Water. Water. No water. Coffee, ice cream. Coffee, ice cream? Yeah. Like a. Yeah, yeah. Not, not coffee. Co coffee. Coffee. Ice cream, coffee? <laughs> yes. Did you have that? Yeah. Okay. What? Yeah. It's on the stick though, okay, we'll see. You'll have to 
open, zip me up, child. Zip, zip open and grab a purple bill. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Can you, uh, can you zip this it's up? It's the one please? that you, <laughs> it's the one that you recommend. What do you mean, the coffee one? Not coffee. Oh, not coffee, guys. So, for our nice little cup of corn, like I was saying, 50 cents, and then this, I think about 60 cents at 50 rupee. Wow, look at everyone on the beach. Yeah, so this is the Kochi Beach. <laughs> it's not over there, it's right here. <laughs> and there is signs saying, danger, do not swim. Yeah, the current, you can tell. It would take a kid and just like, whoop. Right out. I think it has to do with like the ocean meeting all the channels and stuff. So it's like ripping right out. Maybe I'll try some of this corn now. Corn. <laughs> oh yeah, that spice is just like, oh. Yeah, and it's not really even spicy. You know? <laughs> How are you getting this off? Uh, not front teeth, molars. You know what? No, it's getting in my retainer. Here, I'll, I'll grab it with my right hand. Can you push the napkin into my hand better? Yeah, thank you. Mm. All right. Well, ready? Yep. Oh yeah. So this is a super nice place to sit. Chase just finished up his corn and we're kind of just <laughs> looking out at this big old ship, if you guys can see it out there. I wonder if it's used to transport cinnamon. Yeah, it could be. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, maybe <laughs> caramel. <laughs> Pepper, awesome. and we'll uh, continue our journey. <laughs> there is the gas setting up, ready to do some action. Those guys are jamming behind us, and they are so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, they look like they have like a band. I don't think that's just like a community get together. No, no. They no. sound like really good. <laughs> <laughs> so so if you want to come to this beach, <laughs> no. Oh wow! Stick to the other one uh, over there. But this will be the Google Pin if you look up the beach, guys. Guess what? Oh, the doggies down there. They're He's loving it. In the garbage. <laughs> Poor little guy. All right, y'all. We're just leaving the beach now. Oh, look at this! Stand up against drugs. <laughs> Nobody smoke at that marriage, Awana. These oh. trees are just outstanding. I know. <laughs> so yeah, now we're gonna mosey and maybe see some landmarks. We'll keep you guys posted, you know. We'll keep it a surprise for, for this moment. But I think we have a little bit of walking to do through this beautiful little area. Yeah, but it's nice that it's all within, like everything down here is kind of within walking distance. That's really nice. Yeah. Because you can kind of just like look around and see all the beautiful architecture. <laughs> we're going off-roading. Off, yeah. off-roading. It is so quiet today. Yeah, I know, right? Maybe it didn't look like it on video because we probably show you guys the more busy parts, but just in general, I feel like definitely Sunday is quiet. I love all the architecture. Look at this, it's so pretty. Like blue and white, I love those colors. And the roofs, little well, shingles. It's a pretty interesting, shingles. like, uh, interesting blue. Like, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Same with that one too, that's a more old one, but it's kind of a, uh, like a turquoise -y. Yeah. No, I love this little side street. <laughs> it's peaceful. Oh, yeah. Some B-roll. Yeah. Show me your moves. <laughs> Get down. Oh. No. Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh, look oh, at him wow. there. Wow. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. I bet a lot of the homestays here are pretty cool. Pretty skookum. Like just opening it up and doing, you were talking about Shrek, opening it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Kochi's really against sticking bills on walls. Every single one of those walls is like, don't post anything. And then I'm like, so used to the bottle being broken on the top, but this one, wow. 
Chase is just like, oh, nails, hey? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. But even when we were driving here from like our area, Marine Drive and Sherwood area, um, um, bum, bum, bum. Lot, like, <laughs> even from our area, coming over the bridge and coming into this area, there's like the barbed wire everywhere. Like the more- oh, There's like some crazy army camp where there's like armed sentries and the signs are like, um, what is it? Trespassers may will probably be shot or may be shot. Trespassers may be shot without warning. Yeah, there it is. Like if you trust, like yeah. yeah. And and there you just see up at the sentries and they're just looking at you and you're like, you're like oh shit. I'm, I'm not in there. I'm not trespassing. I'm not doing anything wrong. Yeah. I'm just taking a cab. Thank I'm just you. Just a vlogger. <laughs> no, no filming there. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Church. Yeah. Church yeah. is there. Yeah. Boost Basilica. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. 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 That is for here. Yeah. St. Francis Church here. Okay, yeah. We're going to go to this one first and then maybe that one. Yeah. 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 You mean give it small place just around me? Oh, that's okay. We like the exercise. We're going to walk. Where are you from? We're from Canada. Yeah. Near Niagara? No. No, not close to there. <laughs> not <laughs> it. Vancouver? Have you heard of Vancouver? Mm. Yeah. Near there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice yeah, nice to meet you. you. Alright, so right now guys, we are walking right beside, I think, what looks like kind of like a water supply, a water container. And they have the barbed wire so you can't go and mess around with the city water supply, yeah, but yeah. that's pretty crazy. <laughs> water tank, huh? Drinking water tank. Is that what it is? It's the yeah. drinking water? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, is it still used today, water in there? Yes. Oh! Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody used for the cover. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And some people bottle water. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> we were wondering what it was. Yeah. It's yeah. For the fury, fury for the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's coming for the pool. Just in case, uh, no, not much water. Then you use. Yeah. yeah this is the emergency. The, this is coming from, uh, you know, Alua. Mm hmm That is plant. Okay, and it comes all the way here. Yeah, and Ooh. other other plant is in here. Okay. Uh, you know, for the uh, Limerian mm. and Crown Plaza. Okay. Near one plantation. Okay, okay so one cool. here and one there. Yeah, two places for the clean coming for the uh, one, two, three, four. In Cochin, four tank, five tank. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you very much. Awesome. Have a great day. <laughs> See Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That's super cool. So yeah, about four or five tank and I think maybe two plants if I'm getting that correctly to supply the tanks. So when you run a really long shower, Shelby, you're using it from that tank. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, straight this way. Here we are coming up to the church. I see the points and a little bit of a cross. But oh, first, cute. we have some really cute spray paint and that. art. Usually, they're super. Uh, I'm not saying this one's not, but super intricate and detailed. But it's, it's really, school. it's really nice to see it like this, happy and cheerful. Yeah. Got a little calculator and a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is it concrete right there? Oh, the concrete beams and stuff? Yeah. yeah, we've seen a few that are smart. You could probably see right here, they have rebar in the center of the thing to keep that. it steady. That's oh. cool, eh? What is that little gaffer? Oh. So we got the school, that, and is this gonna be the church right over here probably? Yeah, the church is over there. I wonder what that guy is. Huh. Trying to look on my Google Maps here. <laughs> trying to figure out what yeah. everything is. <laughs> so this church is the Santa Cruz Basil Basilica? Basilisca? Uh, okay. That's probably horrible. <laughs> Elegant reconstructed 1880s Catholic church originally built by the Portuguese in the 1500s. Mm. That's massive. Holy. It does look stunning. And it does look very updated. Yeah, definitely, well, definitely reconstructed. Nice fresh coat of paint on that boy. Quick little ch 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 <laughs> Beep, beep. Yeah, wow. Okay. 
sometimes we get in trouble for filming in places like this, but I don't see anybody. <laughs> I can I can put you guys on the on the chest cam. Put, put, put them on the DL the DL. Or the DL. <laughs> -na -na -na. Chest cam activated. <laughs> Obviously, if it's been reconstructed. Yeah. But uh, that's awesome. Oh, well, it looks really cool. It does look really cool there. Wow. Okay. I have no clue. Maybe there's a different way. This looks a little too back. <laughs> I'm sure there's like an entrance or some sort of. I think it's around. Yeah, some sort of something. Oh, wow. For miles. <laughs> okay, so people are. Oh. Yeah, yeah, see, so it's a little bit more like. Oh, yeah. I feel. I can't really see there's a beam in the way, I think. Very cool. I'm sure there's more more and more openings. Oh, yeah, I can see. Yeah. Okay, we'll get a good shot from over there. Catholic Church. Portuguese, that's your side of the family. Yes, it is. Aside for Christians. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this pole. The what? Oh, what the? Look at this pole. People are going to be like, that's not a pole, Shelby. And <laughs> tell us what this is. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay. You Thanks. joined the mosque? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think you're just looking. Okay, let's yeah. hide. <laughs> oh, not allowed. Oh, okay. Sorry, we'll leave. <laughs> Yeah. Tomorrow we come at okay. 10.30. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. It's 1 o'clock. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Today's a uh, bomb. Yeah. Okay, 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 that's great to know. Thank okay. you. Okay, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, for thank sure. Bye. Bye. Get a little Shelby here. We are no longer on the premises, so everything is fine and dandy here and here on it. That is a beautiful, beautiful church there. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I know, I was like, gates open, I was like, I don't know if we're allowed to be in here. Do you think they'd be a little bit more like closed but not locked? Or have security, usually or, secure. or just anything. Oh. But so I, I was wondering, because usually there's security everywhere, but there, <laughs> there wasn't. I was like, okay, you should be able to go in there. Yeah, so this is what I was meaning about no, stick no bells. So it's really clean here. They don't what have do they, things all over the walls. Like, what do they mean Like, you know, on a flyer, hey, come to this party. So or like, that? like over there, yeah. <laughs> But like a lot of areas have all these signage. So like anything that's like new and updated, they're really trying to keep it clean. Look at that. Guys. That view with like the sun. Oh, I gotta move the little palm trees in the way. There we go. Pristine church. <laughs> we have one more destination on our list. Ugh, what could it be? What could it be? Can't tell them. The anticipation is killing me. <laughs> it's a church. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of churches around here. Yep. Okay. Whoa, goodness. <laughs> this is where we should have been the whole time. Wow. Yeah, okay. that's amazing. So yeah, if you guys are into kind of like the history, more architecture, that kind of thing, like little areas to walk around, cute little coffee shops, I definitely recommend Fort Kochi. But if you're into more like modern city life, you want to just walk the Marine Drive, um, go to like shopping malls, go on boat tours, that kind of thing, then I'd probably recommend staying in the Marine Drive area. But so far, I've really enjoyed checking out both areas, and I think both are worth checking out. And they also have a really nice beach called like Chirai Beach or something. Again, I'm probably totally butchering it, but I think that's about 30, 30 minutes to one hour away from Kochi City. So something to look into as well. Hello, Hello. namaste. <laughs> <laughs> There's got three on that bike. Yeah. Oh. I, oh, is that a pop tire? No. No, I think there's a just, sandal getting in the just... spoke. <laughs> <laughs> got too distracted. Yeah. <laughs> it was your good looks. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Your beauty. Uh-huh. I'm sure that was it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is the road we already came down. So if you're walking on this area, chances are you might hit the same road twice. <laughs> oh yeah, because we're like back at the princess road where we started. 
hour. The cafe actually looked super good. The loafers, loafers corner. It, I mean, I, I didn't know what it looks like, but it looks pretty. <laughs> Being able to be in your own little window. There. Yeah, you look like they're up in the windowsills there. All right, so we are coming up to the St. Francis Church. Mm. And uh, this is India's first European church built in the 15th century and home to a historic Dutch cemetery. Okay. So we're gonna do this thing again where we don't know the proper entrance. I mean, this way. <laughs> my hot, my full guess is right over I here. Can you feel it? Yeah. I can see a little pillory kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's looking like it oh, right yeah. there. It has to be it. You got it. <laughs> Hello. Wow, guys. And shoot, there it is. I don't want to be too crazy because there's a guy in a blue shirt who might get a little upset. But I was just trying to uh, respectfully film this beautiful church. I don't see the blue guy. He's sitting over there. He's in there? Yeah, he's in there. There's a gate anyways. Yeah. I just mean I put my hand through it, you know, yeah, I, I yeah. push I the boundaries a little bit. Yeah. I mean, can't go wrong. White and brown. Those are my colors. <laughs> yeah, there's some cool places around here. Definitely worth coming for sure. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> French toast, bakery, and kitchen. Oh boy, oh boy. Here we go. Dude, their badafi French toast on Google looks... Mm. Mm. <laughs> we shall see. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bing, bang, boom. <laughs> <laughs> we are not trying to come up with catchphrases for ourselves. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful. Look at this. It yeah. feels cool right now. They have this almost space perfectly for like if you had a golf cart or like a little rascal mobile, you're like, Ring! go and get me some French toast. <laughs> Until you hit this part, <laughs> then you gotta go romping. That's how they say it looks like it's open air. Oh. Uh, maybe a fan though. Here's the menu, you guys. There's French toast, sweet, savory, organic eggs. They got sandwiches, salads. And I think we got fresh juice, iced teas, coffees, tea. And they have this detox thing right here. And it's very cute. If you can't choose what you want, they say the French toast salads and sandwiches. They kind of give you a little run around. It has gotten really dark really quickly. <laughs> and there's like freaking leaves, leaves and every, oh boy, look at her. Oh my god. We got a storm of ruin! <laughs> oh, oh that, that was quick! It was like... Oh. Like five minutes ago it was like clear and really nice. Well, oh it's like very heavily raining now. Oh my god! <laughs> a nice relaxing dinner. What perfect timing. <laughs> I'm so glad that happened now and not earlier. Yeah. Bless. Now all we have to do is pretty much get a Uber straight from here and uh, definitely take a car, not a rickshaw. We might be eating inside. <laughs> She's got an umbrella for the situation at hand. <laughs> we chose the worst spot to sit, I think. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. All right, sweetie. We got Cheers. kombucha, which is lychee rolls, and it looks god oh my! I think that's like the best kombucha I've ever had. Though I will say, I know what like real kombucha tastes like, and it's very kind of like bitter. And when it's like super gut healthy, it, it doesn't taste as good. So I would say this is more on like the lesser side of the scale, where it tastes good but it might not be as good for your gut. But I don't <laughs> care because it tastes amazing. Yeah. It literally tastes like lychees and rose, like, and it's so sweet. Oh God, okay, all right, all right. Ah! Ah! We are moving. This is, uh, <laughs> this is I'm wild. Wet. I'm getting wet. Yeah, me too. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is good, okay. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Okay, go, go, go. All right. Random umbrella switch when we were Right here. 
Okay. Do, do, do. <laughs> okay, wow. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Look at that umbrella, you guys. <laughs> that is the biggest umbrella I've ever seen. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's find a spot. This one looks just fine. So here is our new area. Shelby looks really nicely lit. But uh, I didn't notice, but there's a little strawberry in my kombucha. Is it a strawberry? Dehydrated? I don't know, it almost reminded me of cherry, but like just probably because it's been in the liquid so long. Interesting. Very good, very good. Delivery. Yes. Okay, we got the French toast. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Oh, looks so good. And then the salad. Quinoa, baby. I don't see mango. <laughs> yeah, where'd it go? I don't know. Where's There's the mango? And then coriander. <laughs> it tastes like that, and I don't. Uh, get this will try first. I'm like, is there mango in here? I don't know. It showed big slices on the picture. I'm so confused. I don't know if I got mango. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell that salad from here. Very fresh. Yeah. Strong. Thank you. Is there supposed to be mango in here? Well, the mango and pomegranates are fresh. When it comes to the mango season, we use the mango. Oh, because on the menu it said mango. It's a mango. Uh, depend on the thing. Uh, you don't get the mango, you have the pomegranate. Okay, thank you. So that explains no mango. I definitely feel like I wanted the mango. Yeah. The pomegranate's like not really doing it for me. I was super excited about the mango. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, baby. Time for dun, 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 dun. oh my god! Look at it glistening in the light. And what's that? It's like oh, it's like whipped cream. I think it might be better if I uh... take a scoop. Yeah. <laughs> it's brioche French toast. Oh, it's so soft. That is the softest French toast I've ever had. I would assume for them to good have, ha I would assume for them to have good French toast since it's literally called French toast. But that is like, if you guys can see, it's so jittery, <laughs> so good. The salad, like it's it's really good. It's it's like pretty tangy, but I feel like the pomegranate is also tangy, and I feel like with mango it would make it sweet and tangy. So I think it'd be better with mango. But obviously it's not mango season, so they had to use pomegranate. So salad is okay for me. That's what I rate that. 